Hey everyone, a few people have asked me to send them the YouTube video of the different Chapman points uh, that I used and I just figured it would be a lot easier to draw it out myself and give you a video since I kind of used a few and put them all together. So I hope you find this useful. Um, here's what it's going to look like, but let's just erase all of that. I eh, hope we'll keep it there. Let's go down to a new page. Okay. Feel free to go at double speed because that's what med students do. <laughs> Here we go. Draw the clavicle and then the first 10 ribs. One, two, three, four, five. And then the sternum. And then you draw the 11 and 12th ribs. Definitely want to label them because taking an exam can be really confusing trying to figure out what ribs you're dealing with if they aren't labeled. You draw the belly button and then the pelvic pubic area and then some feet. Don't feel bad if you can't draw feet. Clearly I cannot draw feet. And you want to put the feet pointing out and the knees as well just so that you have some reference. So this is the anterior side and this will be the posterior side. But we'll get to that. And then you wanna draw some arms. You don't really need the that arm, but we'll put it back in. Okay, so let's put in the Chapman points. So you need a system at least I find that a system is a lot easier to follow than just kind of putting them wherever. So I'll show you mine, but do whatever works best for you. So I always start on the left side because there's less Chapman points. So starting at the second intercostal space, go down two, and then five, six, seven, and then you put four right here. Go to the other side, they're the same, these four, with the addition of one right there. And then you just fill in the remaining ones all the way up. Add one right there, there, right there, draw a line, one right there. So one way to remember this is three, two, one, and I don't know what that guy's doing. <laughs> okay, then going down to the lower area, one right there in the belly button and then the ganglion I also include just because why not so I'll put it in a different color and they're pretty big and then you add these right here on either side and then two right there you also want to add one right there the sternum, which is going to be the pylorus. And then going down, this is the posterior part of the femur, posterior to the IT band. And then the anterior part, which is anterior to the IT band. Okay, looks like I put them all in there, so let's start labeling. So I like to start um, on the right side. So just to put some reference here, we have the left side and the right side. Okay, so starting from head to toe. Eyes, ears, nose, so on the side over here. All that nose area, so sinuses, and then you have the throat, so eyes, ears, nose, throat, pharynx, tonsils, I don't know why the tonsils are there, but that's where they are, and then the larynx, and the tongue, so the way you can remember that one is when you say larynx, a little larynx, you're moving your tongue. Just a little trick. Okay, now this one right here is going to be 
my vet. Myocardium, aka the heart, then bronchi, esophagus, and thyroid. Right here will be the upper lung, lower lung. We have a lot of L's going on, which is why liver will be right there. Liver and gallbladder. And then the pancreas. Now these are going to be the same. So that's the intestines, the small intestines. And the appendix. No, the appendix. Super high yield. Okay, going to the other side, you have the heart. Kind of make that like a heart. And then you have the S's, so stomach acid, peristalsis, and the spleen. Now, down here, just to label these ganglion, celiac ganglion, superior mesenteric ganglion, inferior mesenteric ganglion. At the belly button, you have the bladder. And these two, and these two, by the way, are bilateral. <clears throat> so what comes above, uh, what is above the bladder? That is going to be the kidneys. And then what is above the kidney? Good old adrenal gland. Okay, and then down here, you have the ovaries and the urethra. The anterior aspect of the femur that's anterior to the IT band will be the colon. Left side will give you the left colon. And this is the right colon. So one way to remember what part of the colon we're talking about. Here's the colon. So the first half on the right side will be the right Chapman point. And then the second half on the left side will be the left Chapman point. So that's pretty logical. And then you have these two, which are the femur, fem, femur posterior to the IT band. That's gonna be the prostate. And this one right here is the pylorus. I realized that I didn't use green for them as I was drawing it. I apologize. Whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, that is all of the Chapman points, at least the extremely high yield ones that I'm aware of. I did it from memory. You can do it from memory. I just have to practice it a few times. Good luck studying, and may the Chapman points be with you.